Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before we get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this review is the brand new decal set for the War for Cybertron Earthrise Seekers Skywarp and Thundercracker. This decal set includes two decal sheets on foil backing and one decal sheet on vinyl. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at the Seekers both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In jet mode, straight out of the packaging, both Skywarp and Thundercracker look amazing, even though they are the exact same mold, the only difference being their color schemes. Skywarp, of course, is black and purple, where Thundercracker is blue and red. Now, taking a closer look at the jet, great molded detail all along the vehicle mode. That looks fantastic. But as far as paint applications, you've got the purple striping along the wings, and really that's about it. You got the orange translucent canopy here and some silver right there for the intakes. Same with Thundercracker. You've got the painted details along the wings here, orange canopy and silver details on the intakes. And that is pretty much it for both Skywarp and Thundercracker in vehicle mode before and after. Both Skywarp and Thundercracker get some nice new details and highlights thanks to Toy Hacks. We'll go ahead and take a look at Skywarp first. He gets a new purple decal right here in front of the canopy, and I really like how that looks and breaks up all that black. New decals right here on top of the silver, and highlight decals right there. Moving on down the jet mode, you've got a warning decal here and warning decals right there behind the thrusters. He also gets new wing accents here and here. And the big difference in jet mode is these new decals right there on the tail fins that break up all the purple and really make that look good. On the front of the jet, he gets new decals right there showing turbines or intakes. And that's pretty much it for Skywarp in jet mode. Taking a look at Thundercracker, it's pretty much the same decals, only with different colors. Instead of purple, Skywarp has this black decal there in the front. New decals right here on the silver thrusters or intakes. Skywarp's is blue, where, uh, excuse me, Thundercracker was blue, where Skywarp has purple. He's also got the warning decals there on the middle and behind the thrusters and new decals there on the tail fins that is red and white. Highlights on the wings, kind of a dark blue, and he also has the intakes right there on the front. So there's one final look at Skywarp and Thundercracker in jet mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, both Skywarp and Thundercracker share the exact same molded details just like they did in jet mode. The only difference is the head sculpt. Skywarp here has an open mouth expression, like he's yelling or screaming, where Thundercracker has more of a smirk. Other than that, the details are exactly the same aside from their coloring. Great molded details there along the chest, translucent canopy right there in the center. Skywarp, of course, has the purple and white striping where Thundercracker has red and white. Moving on down to the lower legs, you got paint applications there for the leg vents and some silver on the feet. But other than that, that is about it as far as the detailing is concerned. Now, forgot to point out, there is a upside down Decepticon logo there on Skywarp, which is purple and another purple one there on Thundercracker. Now Thundercracker's blends in a little bit, so you can't really see that one. But that's pretty much it for Skywarp and Thundercracker in robot mode before. 
and after. Both Skywarp and Thundercracker also benefit from some Toy Hex decals in robot mode. We'll go ahead and take a look at Skywarp first. Now, Skywarp does get one extra decal that Thundercracker does not. If you take a good look at his face here, he gets a mouth decal. There is a couple different options. There's one that's solid black, and there's one that has a little bit of red to it. It's either his tongue or his throat. I like the red because it breaks up all the silver, so that's pretty cool. He also gets new decals here for his pylons. Now, once again, there is options. I chose the black. You also get silver, but I felt that the black kind of broke up all that a little bit more. He also gets new shoulder decals down here on the waist, waist decals, little decals right there on the forearms, new decals here on the knees, and decals right there on the feet. Taking a look at Thundercracker, pretty much the same decals, only in different colors once again. Up here on the pylons, you also get an option of the black or silver decals. I went with black, like I said, I think it breaks it up just a little bit more. He also gets the decals there on the shoulders, decals there on the waist, knee decals, and foot decals right there. So really nice looking decals that kind of give a little bit more life to these figures. Now, speaking of options, Toy Hacks also gives you decals to put underneath the wings in case you want to display your bots with the Decepticon logos right side up instead of the normal upside down logo. Now you do this by popping the wing off and then popping it back on again on the opposite side. But I think that look is really, really cool. I'm also going to add another enhancement to my figures. I recently bought the non-F Productions Conehead weapon set and now I have these extra black null rays from Dirge and Ramjet that I'm going to give these to. Now I really like the looks of that. So there you go guys, one final look at Skywarp and Thundercracker after. The Toy Hacks decal set for Earthrise, Skywarp, and Thundercracker really adds some much needed personality to these figures. I love the little subtle decals that really make both these figures pop both in robot mode and vehicle mode. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!